kidney is generally considered a part of the excretory system. Well, yes, it is an excretory organ. However, uh, if I was asked this question, which is the smartest and most sensible organ in the body? I would say kidney. If I was asked which organ system performs a wide range and wide variety of functions, again the answer would be kidney. Look, wide variety or diverse functionalities in the kidney. Apart from the excretory function, it also performs endocrine function, vitamin D synthesis, erythropoietin synthesis, uh, acid base regulation, fluid and electrolyte balance, so many functions and wide and diverse functionalities. Second point is, it is a very smart and sensible organ. Why do I say that? Let's understand this. Now basically, as an excretory organ, it is going to form the urine and the substances will be eliminated out of the body. And the urine formation has three steps. Glomerular filtration, tubular reabsorption and tubular secretion. Net urine formed is uh, the net sum of these three processes. Now look, out of these three processes, uh, the first two which I have mentioned here, glomerular filtration and tubular secretion, they are going in the same direction that a substance filtered and or secreted is going to be eliminated into the urine unless it is reabsorbed which is the opposite process. Okay. What I am trying to say here is, first most of the substances from the plasma will be filtered out by the glomerular filtration. Then the kidney will decide which one is needed by the body and which one is to be excreted into the urine. It is an ex, uh, waste product. And therefore, final urine composition will be decided after having this due consideration. So, let us look at this smartness of the kidney. On one extreme, we have plasma proteins, absolutely uh, essential for most functions of the body. Therefore, kidney will not process them at all. I, what I am trying to say here is, look, all the substances in the blood, they are going to pass through the kidney, but then kidney will judge which substance is needed forever, which substance is needed right now, which substance is not needed at all, etc. Which levels are coming down, which levels are going up and accordingly kidney will handle those substances. Let us look at the examples. First, the plasma proteins. Absolutely, uh, most of the functions depend on the plasma protein levels and therefore, kidneys will normally not filter them at all. No filtration at the glomerulus and neither secretion nor reabsorption. Okay. Uh, so, that is one smartness. Next, we have two extreme examples of tubular reabsorption and tubular secretion. Look, sodium and creatinine, both of them are filtered at the glomerulus. So, first process done. Now, the kidney decides, okay, sodium absolutely required by the body. Now, this will be reabsorbed. So, there is no secretion of sodium, just reabsorption. I am uh, trying to emphasize the fact that secretion and reabsorption are absolutely opposite processes. Means, uh, the intention itself is opposite. When a substance is reabsorbed, the intention is to save it and not allow it to be excreted into the urine. Whereas, when the substance is secreted by the tubules, the intention is to remove them, eliminate into the urine. All right. So, sodium on one end of the spectrum where it is completely, almost completely reabsorbed. Even filtered glucose completely reabsorbed under normal circumstances. Uh, on the other extreme, we have creatinine. Creatinine not needed by the body, no functionality in the body systems and therefore, it, it has to be excreted out. So, filtered at the glomerulus, then secreted by the tubules additionally, no reabsorption and finally, it will be eliminated into the urine. So, uh, sodium and creatinine, both are getting filtered, but one is completely reabsorbed, taken back into the blood because absolutely needed. The other one 
is further secreted, I mean filtered and then further added by secretion so that it is excreted out of the body. Having said all this, now I come to the main point of this video. There are three substances on which all four processes of kidney are possible. And when I say four processes, three are right in front of us, glomerular filtration, tubular secretion, tubular reabsorption and excretion, the final step. So, filtration, reabsorption, secretion and excretion, all four processes are possible and do happen in the case of three substances and only three substances, which are they? Potassium, urea and uric acid. And look at them. One is needed by the body. The other two are waste products and yet kidney handles them in a different manner. Let's have a look at this. And I emphasize the fact again, I reiterate the fact that tubular secretion means the intention is to excrete it into the urine. Reabsorption means the opposite intention that the substance is needed by the body. So, taken back. But those two contradictory processes happen on these three substances. So, all four processes actually happen in these three, uh, in the case of these three. Potassium, it is reabsorbed at some part of the nephron and secreted uh, in some other part of the nephron. And then kidney determines what is the plasma potassium level. Look, potassium is very important in the sense that uh, the excitable tissues, uh, they depend on the plasma potassium levels. If the potassium levels vary in the plasma, the excitable tissues like heart, like nerve, like other muscle, uh, skeletal muscles, smooth muscle, all of them, their functionality will be disturbed. So, uh, and, and the other part, uh, fact is that uh, potassium levels have to be maintained in a very narrow range in the plasma. So, kidney will sense it and accordingly either it will be secreted and eventually even excreted out of the body when there is hyperkalemia, excess potassium in the plasma. And if the potassium levels are falling, then potassium will be reabsorbed. So, net there will be either reabsorption of potassium or net secretion of the potassium and excretion depending on what is the plasma potassium status. The other substance is urea. Now, this is again interesting. Urea is a waste product. It has to be excreted out of the body. So, one would have thought that there will be glomerular filtration and tubular secretion and urea will be excreted out. No, uh, urea is also reabsorbed but not taken back into the body, not taken back into the general circulation. It is just removed from the nephron, uh, from the tubules and just held in the kidney for some time and it is used to make a concentrated urine. So, urea, although it is a waste product, it is not excreted in a drop by drop urine fashion, but it is cycled over and over and over again in the kidney itself. That means reabsorbed, removed from the tubules, but held there within the kidney and secreted again and recycled, recycled and eventually it will be excreted out in a concentrated urine. So, urea, excretory product, kidney makes use of it to form a concentrated urine and eventually throws it out. The third example is even more interesting because uric acid derived from the purine metabolism. Uh, now, this uric acid is also considered a waste product, but there are transporters which can reabsorb uric acid. In fact, it is said that 90% uh, percent of the uric acid is reabsorbed by the tubules. So, the question that remains is, if a substance is to be excreted out, then why is it getting reabsorbed at all? Why the kidney would spend and uh, uh, waste its resources to reabsorb something which is an excretory product? So, this uh, is actually being debated and research is going on. What could be the possible functions of uric acid in the body? Uh, that is why kidney is probably taking it back. Reabsorption is happening because carrier proteins are there uh, and urate 
carriers they are and they reabsorb uric acid but eventually even uric acid is also excreted out uh, as the waste product so glomerular filtration tubular reabsorption tubular secretion and excretion into the urine all these four processes are possible for only these three candidates these three substances and why is that it's because kidney has to determine whether this is needed by the body uh, whether concentrated urine formation is the need of the hour whether uric acid will perform some function look even uric acid levels they have to be maintained in the plasma if there is excess hyperuric acid uh, excess uric acid levels uh, it may result in the conditions like gout or some other inflammatory disorders but then it may have some role to play in some physiologic functions for which reason uric acid is also reabsorbed uh, by the nephron by the kidney and also eventually secreted and excreted out into the urine so therefore uh, this is how kidney functions in a very smart and sensitive and sensible manner that's why i call it as the most uh, sensible smart and intelligent organ in the body